Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to a daily dose of joy. We are here dosing our brains by using microdosing tools, little micro habits throughout the day that optimize the positive neurotransmitters in our head. We're leveraging neuroscience. <laughs> We're leveraging neuroscience to change the baseline of positive neurotransmitters in our brain, helping us to feel connected to our joy, our clarity, and our vibrancy all throughout the day. We start here on a daily dose of joy in the morning together in solidarity, in our vision, in our intention to choose joy, to build that positive momentum in our lives, in a life that can kind of come at you with a lot of negative momentum. <laughs> and so with intention, we're shifting that. And today we're going to use the whoopsie daisy tool. Well, I'm actually going to talk a little more about it. And, um, yeah, it's explain. I want to share a little bit of how how I've benefited from it, and um, encouraging you on ways you might try and use it. So early on, one of my examples that I talked about was hearing um, a coach tell me that she had spilled paint on the floor, and that she knew her brain was really dosed with positive neurotransmitters because she was able to laugh at it. I mean, a hardwood floor with acrylic paint on it, you know, that may not come up. <laughs> and so that was a pretty big leap to laugh at something like that. And especially if you're like tired in your painting project or something, but she had done it. And that really inspired me in my early days, early on to like, oh, that's where I'm setting the bar. Like, not only do I want to regain my ability to laugh in general, to regain my ability to spontaneously laugh, regain my ability to be funny, but I wanted to be able to laugh when life got wobbly, when things got hard, when there was an impulse to generate can chemistry and stress. Um, because life happens, life has wobbles, mistakes are made, accidents happen, um, things don't go sometimes the way you anticipate. And it really sets us up for success if we're able to experience the feelings of anger or frustration or disappointment or rejection, but not get sucked into it to where it builds a whole new reality for us. Um, and that's where the whoopsie daisy tools can be really handy. So I, I recently had an experience where with my beautiful new puppy, I, there I made a really, a, what it feels like a really bad mistake, a bad mistake. And it meant that he and I would have another month of puppy quarantine because they have to get puppy vaccines against some things out there in the world um, before they can go on long walks through urban neighborhoods and to dog parks and things like that. So um, there was a medical form, a vet record, and on the vet record, they had gotten the birth date wrong. And that that's on them. That was an accident. They had the birth date wrong. And that's what I was basing my deadline of when to go get his third series of puppy vaccines. But unfortunately, I didn't read the small print down below where it actually said the next ones were due on a certain date. And so I based it on the birth date, not on that, missed the whole thing, got us a whole month off. So it means another month of the quarantining. And, oh, I just really, I had a, a nice good shame spiral going with it. Just like, Winston, was it had real, I made a mistake that had real world consequences and that affected other people and another being, my dog. And um, and I was really feeling it. I felt and, and frustrated and sad that I couldn't go out into the world with my new puppy. And so um, I did some things to just feel the sadness. I had, had a good cry over it and to feel some of the, uh, the frustration, disappointment, and just move those through my body and felt them. And then 
I was able with intention to find the whoopsie daisy. So I didn't, I wanted to give y'all an example of one time where it didn't come to me instantly. It didn't happen in the moment as this was all going down and I'm needing to rearrange things. I was in a very pragmatic place and, and just needed to feel the feelings. But I also used the whoopsie daisy tool as a way to kind of after I'd felt the feelings to move on, to release it and to get it back into perspective in my life. And so I started laughing at myself saying, oh my God, I'm going to have to get some Mr. Magoo glasses anytime I read a form or, you know, like I got to get better at reading the small print. I need some thick bottle, Coke bottle glasses. So I'd never miss the small print and just made it funny for myself. And it took the shame I felt away, the embarrassment of making a mistake and lightened it. It lightened it. Oh my God, it lightened my load. And, um, and then I've since been able to, without shame, because shame builds with secrecy and isolation. And, um, and, you know, I didn't want to tell people I'd made this mistake. It was, you know, affecting my poopy. Uh, but now <laughs> I'm telling people. And part of the reason that it takes it out of the shame closet and out of the darkness is my own being able to hold it more lightly. So my retroactively looking at it and finding some humorous ways of seeing what went down um, that allowed me to hold it lightly and to share it and to bring it out into the light. Ah, oh, what a relief. And I've done the same thing with other friends who call me with a, you know, oh gosh, this is tough. And so we'll feel the feelings and I'll hear their story and then I'll be there with them as they try and find the humor in it and we are able to laugh. And this is something that naturally happens culturally and in the world. Um, but we're just choosing to prime ourselves for that way of operating. So I hope this inspires y'all to play with whoopsie daisy stories and to see that they have a long reaching benefit in your life. I look forward to this time every day. Let's take three gentle solidarity breaths. Just mark this time together. Mm -mm -mm. Oh boy, do I love this journey with y'all. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for playing with these precious microdosing tools. I guarantee they will shift things. Mm -mm -mm. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning.